Hello my loves, it's me Miss Manifesta. I hope that you're all doing well. Today I thought I would take you on a little adventure with me in my Brum Brum. We are going to Glastonbury which is the heart chakra of the earth. Oh my gosh, it's the most amazing, beautiful, spiritual place. It is also a metaphysical money pit for crystals and all sorts of amazing stuff. So I'm going to take you on a little tour with me. Let's go shopping and let's do some meditating and some spiritual stuff. Woohoo! So I'm on the road. It takes me about an hour from my house um, in the car. I've got to say, you think Glastonbury, especially with the festival, oh, it would be really accessible. Maybe there's like a train station or something. It's not, okay? <laughs> it's not easy to get to um, with public transport. I'll drop some like tips and links to like stuff if you guys are visiting. So that might make your journey getting here a little bit easier if you don't have a car. I've been loads of times it's maybe like a two or three day trip to do everything so I'm going to show you what I can but I've also got so much footage from other times that I've been and bits and pieces that I've done that I would love to show you so I'm going to slot all that in there now this really is an adventure for me because there's somewhere that I am I don't know if it's open or not and it's called the book barn and it says it's Britain's biggest book warehouse and it makes me think of my gran because she ran this like little book den in a basement like in London. It was amazing. But I was kind of hoping there might be some spiritual books in here, like on the cheap. So I don't know if it's open or not because like I'm looking and all I see is a massive shutter. So I'm just going to go and investigate and hopefully it's open and we can see if there's anything good in there. I think it is open after all. And it's like it's all in this one building. Ooh, exciting. There's some nice vinyls. This combo, rugs and books, classic. Um, oh, really old books, love all the old books. This was the self-help section. There was a lot of like, how to get off Twitter, surviving divorce, wow, heavy stuff. Um, and this was this room was amazing. I don't even know if I was supposed to be in there, but it was a bit more expensive, that room. Don't know why. So I'm out. It was six books for a tenner. Nothing like classic. Um, but I bought a lot of stuff that I was just like, it's kind of, it could be interesting. There could be some gems in there. So I got something called, anyway, the paradoxical commandments for, um, common sense ideas on how to be successful through service to others. Sounded interesting. Uh, I got practical truisms which when I opened it, I was like, yeah, I'm enjoying that. Just kind of like nuggets and, nuggets and gems. The sequel to everything, a further exploration of the way in which the soul talks through the body. So this is obviously about the way that, um, you know, trauma manifests in the body. And given some of my clients and things, I thought that that could be interesting. I also got the Empaths Toolkit. Uh, could be good. Now, these were two I was like, oh, but it was was six for tenner past present and future so it's got some stuff in there about like tarot palmistry but the thing that really and dreams but the thing that really interested me was your handwriting so it was, it's talking about what you um you know can gather about yourself from your handwriting so i just thought that's very interesting because i actually have more than one style of handwriting so i thought that was cool and then she sent me back to get a sixth book and i just went for how to find ufos why not? Um, and the great thing is, you know, I can pass these books on to, you know, friends or clients or whoever. Because um, I'm not emotionally attached to any of them. I just thought, why not? Knowledge is power. So let's get back on the road. That was absolutely a gem. I enjoyed that so much. I'm so glad I did it. Off to Glastonbury. Here's just some quick filler footage from when I was up the top of Glastonbury Tour. Nice crow flying by. Oh, look at the sheep so cute so the eagle has landed i'm just parked up i'm about to walk onto the high street and i can't believe how sunny it is like i was going to come here yesterday and it was really really horrible and wet and i'm just so glad that i came today but i'm also feeling like it's all very like aligned and i just posted a story about the book barn on my instagram and i swear i had this in a dream um and some like always weird synchronicities and stuff happen when i come to glastow so I'm curious. I'm curious to see if anything comes through or whatever, but let's find out. 
So here we are, we're about two thirds of the way up the high street, so we're gonna walk on down, but this is my first rodeo of trying to be a good citizen and block out license plates. I'm so sorry. Right, I saw this two months ago and I went wild then and it's still there. Jim pops up everywhere for me. He's like in my energy field. <laughs> He's like a spirit guide. And it's just so weird for Glasto. Oh, here we go. Piscean Dreamer, very nice for Pisces season. Here's the church cathedral thing. Lots of graffiti. Beautiful graffiti. You can actually do a graffiti tour with your own tour map, of course, not with a person, I don't think. This is, <laughs> oh my God, this is White Rabbit. Oh, look at all the incense. I'll show you what I bought later. Too much, obviously. Oh my gosh, I've got to show you this crystal. You'll see it because it was just popping. Ah, I think it's a sandstone. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, very nice. It's my daughter's aunt's birthday today and she has a fairy garden. This is perfect. So at this point, my daughter starts FaceTiming me because she's managed to get herself a massive cow squishmallow. Then went down the high street. This guy is always doing these amazing mandalas. And it's she's usually around the bottom here, bottom end of the high street. Let's pop in a lustial. Oh my God, I'm going too fast. This is a banging crystal shop, but it was absolutely even today. Here's the Abbey Tea Rooms, that is very old fashioned, um, opposite the tourist information and the public loos. Ah, Goddess House, not to be mistaken with the Goddess Temple. They do lots of treatments and stuff in there, ceremonies, um, it's really really beautiful but yeah it's separate to the Goddess Temple, Goddess House is separate. This is a and b I want to stay in, the Covenstead. Look at that, uh, my friend stayed in there, it's very pagan. Goals! This is some footage I wasn't intending to use, but I think it's important from inside the goddess house when my friend booked a ceremony and it was really beautiful. And this was in a swan themed room. It wasn't a swan themed room. I'm just calling it that, but there was a lot of swans and swans are one of my signs. And I actually saw three on the way home from this trip in a field. It was amazing. I've just slowed this clip right down so you can see it. This is the George Hotel and Pilgrims Inn on the high street. It is a 15th century pub and you can stay there overnight as well. Okay, this is where I went to see Merlin for some rune readings. Never had that done before. It was all good news, baby. It was all good news. And he was such a gem. He was the loveliest man ever. Please go and see him. He's by the Abbey. Bye, Merlin. We love you. What's this all about, eh? Right, this is the view from the goddess temple of the courtyard. And this is the shop. Let's chuck some music on. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> I just thought this was a banging journal. I'm just gonna narrate stuff from now on. Just, I'll just let my real craziness come out. Oh, this is the Tantra shop below the temple. Very sexy, but more adult, as you can see. Um, but it's amazing. I've got some awesome uh, bits and pieces in here. Okay, I'm switching the vibe up here, darlings, as we're going in the goddess temple. This is where there's a beautiful little prayer board you can put people on there you want to pray about there it is and this is old footage from a different season they you know they change things in the temple based on the seasons this was obviously around sort of a harvest time it's a really beautiful silent um you know meditation space to connect to that goddess and feminine energy but muggins left it a bit late didn't she that's why she's using old footage oh here's the ice street again and this is where I went in Sons of Asgard. I've never been in this one before. How did I miss it? In the old bank building. I don't even think it says Sons of Asgard on the outside. Just look for it, it says bank. Um, it's, <laughs> I'm losing it. Right, last shop, Fairyland Aromatics. Um, lots of beautiful sprays and essential oils and sages. It's like an apothecary. An apothecary, darling. It's gorgeous. And that's it. That's a wrap. Did I spend more money than I was planning to? Does a bear shit in the woods? Yes. Yes, I did spend more money. But I did buy 
some presents for my friends and family. It wasn't all about me. Uh, I'm going to show you these because I'm going to drop them off hopefully on the way home. So um, my daughter's aunt, she isn't overly spiritual, but she recently, I don't think she's spiritual at all, but she has like built this fairy garden in her field and I just saw all this and it's her birthday today and I was like oh my god I was like I'm definitely gonna get this it was such good such a good price it's got like a little path and a birdhouse <laughs> and there's a slide I bought the slide I just could not help myself I saw it I was like that's just amazing so I'm gonna drop those off and apart from that everything else I shall show you when I get home I have literally just had the nicest day and the thing that I love the most, one of the things that I love the most about Glastonbury is how friendly everybody is and like people just talk to you. Um, Merlin, oh my gosh, Merlin of Glastonbury, what a sweetheart. Merlin, big shout out to you. Like he was just a, an absolute babe. Um, and the runes he did for me, I'll, t I'll tell you what, all about that in a minute. But like that was really interesting especially considering some of the things I've been manifesting. Um, yeah, oh, I get to go home now and read all my books and eat leftover Chinese and live my best life, yes. Here's some filler footage of the Chalice Royal Gardens with someone singing. So I'm back home and it is three days later, hence why I have no makeup on <laughs> and a completely different look. And I was laughing so much because when I went to Glasto, I had no skin makeup on, just a bit of eye makeup, but I put like um, a primer, like a glowy primer on and then this like, like highlighting setting spray. And by the end of that video, honestly, I was looking back and I was going, oh my gosh, oil rig alert don't like to put myself down but I, I looked like I was melting by the end of it so I wanted to show you what I got so in the first shop I got white rabbit I got a load of incense I went I bought way not way too much but I went a bit incense bonkers and the man was like do you need a basket and he goes, I do. so <laughs> I got um cannabis incense which when I open the box it doesn't smell like cannabis I got that for kind of like you know shits and gigs why not then I got holy basil I then got fortune and this was really weird so when I opened the box there was another box of incense inside the box which is so odd golden era don't bark please um and I looked it up and like it's not cheap and people were like I love this I have burnt fortune it was okay but this one super hit it's just a bit of Velcro from like, so this is X display and um, it's all about, I think like feminine energy and just bringing out like the best in your zodiac sign, which for me is probably not overeating and spending too much money. Um, have a guess what I am if you don't know already. Um, but this smells amazing. I've got another one called Prophecy, similar sort of thing. So if you can get your hands on that, super hit. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I dropped off the fairy garden uh, present, so I haven't got that to show you. Now in Fairyland, speaking of fairies, Fairyland um, aromatics, I, I've just brought this downstairs. Sorry, my nails are shocking. Um, they do these sprays, Earth Angel spray. I just spray that on my pillow at night and it's uh, white spring water, something. Oh, I, why am I doing this to you? Optipen, Yarrow, um, Clary Sage and Dill. Well, whatever. Anyway, that one's quite nice. There was another one that I was quite keen on in there. Some of them are a little bit strong, but yeah, like we spray it and we're like, oh, strong, but actually it's very, very soothing to sleep. Um, this is what I got in there this time around. So I'll just open it. Um, let me package it all up for you, dead nice. So I got, and this really made me laugh, it's like a little um, bottle for um, your car to put essential oils in, in your car to make your car smell nice. Whether this is gonna work or not, I don't know. But it sort of had some suggestions of what would be good scents for the car so you didn't kind of get sleepy. 
it said lemon and when I looked at the like list of what lemon was good for it was just like strumming my pain <laughs> with his fingers I was like oh my god it's like all my problems solve all my problems please um not that that's the right way to you know manifest but it just made me laugh I was just like yeah I'll have that because that has literally got like my name written all over it in yin yang which I didn't show you on the video I do like yin yang I've had um psychic readings in there I think the guy's name is Steve Jewell but they've got like a variety of people um I got these so I love watching um Loon and Nate's videos like her ASMR Reiki stuff and um she got given like a turkey feather I think by like a friend it's just something I remember and turkeys represent abundance prosperity like there is always enough like you know and um I thought these were just really really beautiful the other one is a goose feather they had some solid black coins and these ones and I may see if I can get them put into like some sort of like macrame design so they're not just kind of sitting around but they're actually something decorative but I love like I mean you can see this is I don't know what print this is giraffe um I really feel like very connected to spirit animals that's kind of how I get a lot of messages now the last thing that I got um I can't show you both because one I have bought for a friend for her birthday um I saw these last time that I came with my friend Abby and I just thought oh it's just a like a journal as in like something to to write in and scripting and I, I kind of prefer usually things that give me prompts and the artwork like they're by Alana Fairchild like they are absolutely stunning like they are stunning but I looked at it this time and realized like there was so much so much more than just what I thought um there is like art throughout like the whole thing and it's just beautiful and they've got all different ones like different themes um all sorts so it was just yeah it's just very special because normally like what I'm very good at doing is just getting notebooks and scribbling in them and then like putting client notes in and I don't really have a, a journal that's just for me so I thought this might be a nice space for like drawing my you know my poems like creativity so I got that um and I think that was like everything that I got and yeah, it was just amazing. If I didn't obviously show you the um, the tour or the Chalice Well or the Abbey or any of those places, like today was very much focused on, I guess, the high street. And I, I genuinely mean what I said earlier, like the people there are so chatty and welcoming and so friendly and you can just have the most beautiful conversations with people there. And it's just, it's just got such a wonderful vibe magical vibe but if you want me to do a vlog when I do my next visit and do the kind of more um I don't I don't know why I want to call them like uh, countryside like they're not they're just but they're the more open spaces the green spaces um for you know meditation and history if you want me to do that and you guys want to watch me struggle to walk up Glastonbury tour um I will do it for you so just let me know if you like this style of video and you enjoyed coming out with me I enjoyed taking you with me I've been meaning to do this for a very very long time and I've always sort of started it and then never finished the job so guys thank you thank you for being on my road trip with me um sending you so much love and I will see you soon for some more content take care bye